To me, one of the most important things in bass fishing is to not set the hook until you actually feel the weight of the fish. With today's technologies and the really good equipment that we have, light, sensitive rods, good fluorocarbon lines, what, what, what I've seen in a lot of people, they feel the bite so quick and they, they're real quick to react and they're actually pulling the fish away from the fish's mouth. So normally when I detect a strike, I'll kind of pull, try to feel a little bit of resistance, make sure the fish has the bait. So basically, never set the hook until you feel the weight of the fish. Think about topwaters. How many times do you see the blow up and pull the bait away from the fish? A topwater is one of my favorite ways of fishing, but it's also real frustrating. So you have to kind of you know educate yourself to delay the strike until you feel the weight of the fish. Make sure the fish has the bait before you pull into it. Hey, I'm Brent Ayler and I have a little tip for you. This right here is backing. I put backing on all my reels. The reason for that is fluorocarbon is very expensive. So I put backing on there so I don't have to spool the entire thing. Put that on there, load up my, my reel with fluorocarbon and I'm good to go. I'm gonna give you a quick fishing tip. The best lure in your tackle box by far is confidence. Always stay confident. No matter if you haven't had a bite all morning, just be confident you'll catch more fish. That's the best tip I can give you. Hey, I'll tell you a great fishing tip for beginners or for pros. When you're fishing with spinning outfits, use braid on the reel and then tie a fluorocarbon leader because braid is so user friendly on a spinning reel, even a beginner won't get a bird's nest all day long. So that's one of the best tips I can give you. Use braid on a spinning reel. Hey, this is John Murray. You know, one thing about bass is that they live by their food. And that's where I always look for. So when you're out fishing, whatever lake, find out what they eat and where that lives and the bass will be near it. That's always the key to fishing. Find out the food source, find out how or where that lives, and that's where those bass will be and that's where you're gonna catch them. You know, spinning gear and light line is kind of a must uh, when you're fishing for smallmouth up here on the Great Lakes and lots of other places. A lot of people ask me, how do I try to set my drag? What I want is to set my drag so that it's got enough strength, you know, it won't give till I bend a rod about three quarters of the way where it's loaded. And what that does, it allows me to have enough enough tension to set the hook at like a distance if you're dragging the bait and it's way off. But also it gives me the ability to let the fish when it surges pull. So when you're trying to set your drag on your reel, you just adjust this knob back and forth. When you get to where you can bend a rod just about loaded and start having some line come off the reel, you've got it just about perfect. <laughs>